took you long enough to wake up finally. Why, you were just down the street from my last victim. It seemed that you two knew each other. After all, they did have a photo of you in their wallet. Who am I? <laughs> Call me Jack. In all seriousness, I got what I came for. So I could just leave you here, on your bed, bleeding out. But that human inside me is not going to let that happen. So, stand still. Or even just stay still. So I can stitch up your side where I took your kidney. You know, I always wanted to do this for a living. No, not take the kidney part. That came with the curse. What I'm talking about is stitching people up. I wanted to be a doctor. A surgeon, at that matter. Yeah, I know it stings. Shut up. Anyway, I wanted to help people get better, but then that day happened and now I'm this. I was a human once, just like you. You're a lot more delicate than the last person I did this to. You have a lot more of a slender build than anything. The last person I stole their kidney from, they were on the heavier side. You, you're a lot more slender, a little bit more built than the last one as well. No wonder why they took a liking into you. Anyway. The stitching is done. You will be bleeding for a while, but that usually happens. After all, I'm not a professional. I just take what I need and leave. There's no shame in that. I know exactly what I'm become. And this is the part where you call me a monster. Right. Like I didn't know that already. Well, in a couple of hours I should be getting a phone call. My friend said he got a new hook up for me. See, he was some type of backstreet doctor and he likes to take body parts, organs, anything he can get his hands on. He likes to modify this weird fucking serum he has. He always wanted to make it stronger. That's what my friend told me. And to me, he sounds like a complete jack-off. Another crazy person just killing and putting a scheme behind it. Not really my cup of tea. But fuck it. If I can get free kidneys, I'm not really going to complain that much. Instead of hunting people down, waiting till they're asleep just to get their organs, just so I can have something to eat, it'll be better, less uh, 
time wasted for me just to hunt people like they're a game. Why do you still look scared? Is it my eyes? Or is it the lack of it? I can tell you're staring at me because of my eye sockets. You want to take a closer look? Look deep inside of my body. The black pores of where my eyes should be no longer there because of a curse. I think about it every day. Wondering how come I could see more now than I did before. Is that your cat I hear? So you're an animal person. I used to have a pet. He was a dog. He was a good boy. And too bad he passed away when I was a bit younger than I am now. I'm over it by now. You seem still a bit young, like a year or two younger than I am. You look like you're going to college, or at least about to graduate high school. Let me tell you something about the real world. The real world is full of pieces of shit like me who just want to hurt people, take what they need, and go. Nothing goes right in this accursed world. Nothing. So, you have to take it upon yourself to take what you need and never look back. I hate how this world has become like this. What? I'm kind of glad that the world has come to this. Gives me something to do. While everyone else is just standing still, fiddling with their thumbs, trying to figure out what the fuck they're going to do the next day. Which I already have planned ahead. The psychopaths, the cannibals, the serial killers, they all have a plan. We all have a plan. But to you civilians, to you people, normal people, living a normal life, you have no idea what you're gonna do. It makes me sick to my stomach just to know that these are actual human beings who don't know what the fuck they want to do. So, I hope you have a good life. After all, you can't drink anymore. So you can't really go partying. Not without this thing. <laughs> Before I go, you should check up on your mother. I think a friend of mine is about to come here. He's not as friendly as I am.
Say hello to Jack for me.